Hey, welcome to the video and today I'm going to talk about something that might just save you if there's a girl that you really like and that is the situation that we probably all had which is go on a date with a girl but she doesn't want to see us again after that. Um, happens a lot to guys and a lot of the time they really have no idea what went wrong but luckily for me I've got lots of female friends they go on dates and when they don't want to see a, get, a guy again I normally hear about the reason why likewise of course I've got my own ideas so that's what I'm going to be giving you in this video so that you never have that situation happen first mistake that some guys make and these guys um, are usually you know, I hope not the kind of guys that are watching this video, but they might meet a girl one time and then they start texting her at like 1, 2 a.m. saying, hey, what are you doing? Come watch a movie at my house or something like that. So if she gets the idea that um, he just wants to meet her for sex, then that could put her off seeing him again. The second is kind of the opposite of that. And that would be that a lot of girls um, tell me, I say, oh, what happened? How was your date or whatever? And they say, oh, there was no chemistry. He's a nice guy and they show me the picture he looks good you know what's wrong with him there was no chemistry and okay so have chemistry no you need to know exactly what to do and I think when they say that chemistry is missing it means that there was a lack of sexual tension at the right time so they couldn't think about that guy in a sexual way even if he was very good looking or whatever it's not enough um, a guy adds huge attraction points and delivers that thing that girls call chemistry by building sexual sexual tension. So at some point on the date, you need to slow down, you need to look her in the eye and do that stuff that I talked about in so many videos and in Stealth Attraction um, that creates sexual tension. Of course, it's not the right time at the beginning of the date. Um, it's better in the night time. It's better after you've both kind of relaxed, you've had some casual, comfortable conversation then you might just kind of start to look at her with a little cheeky smile and look her in the eye and if she's saying stuff like what what is it and if she's getting flustered then you're doing the right thing so that's kind of the the two extremes of too sexual and not sexual enough and those are the main reasons why a girl wouldn't want to see you again of course you've also got stuff like you know just boring conversation running out of stuff to say and that's why it's important to follow um, some general guidelines about dates so if you're very confident about your conversation then I think that you can meet her in the daytime or, or you can meet her even for a dinner I wouldn't recommend it or you can sit in a situation where you're sitting opposite her if you're not sure that your conversation is going to be great if you sometimes run out of things to say then why don't you try going for a walk in the park why don't you try um, doing an activity together uh, if you look on my facebook i'm always doing things like uh, wall climbing going to the spa uh, going out of the city and i don't know firing guns or doing archery something crazy like that yeah going go-karting whatever it is if you do an activity together um, it gives you something to talk about with her um, you know regarding what you're doing compared to just sitting in a coffee shop where you don't really have anything going on and also it takes the pressure off the conversation um, all the way through so consider your date very carefully at a minimum you definitely want to be um, somewhere in the night time with a little bit of buzz um, with some alcohol because that will help loosen things up and also have her sit next to you on a couch like this uh, find a, a bar with that kind of comfortable seating so that if the conversation does run dry you know you're sitting talking to her you can just kind of look around the bar for a bit sip your drink oh and another thing and then come back to her like that so it takes a lot of the pressure off so that's it guys some guidelines so that you don't get into that awful situation where you're like wow i really like this girl and you text her and she doesn't want to see you again good luck